March the 2nd is in the books here on Wall Street. Here's the New York Minute. We're partying like it's 1999. Stock markets gave back some of their gains from, uh, from Wednesday, but it, there's not much to be read into that. A lot of those gains remain intact. Meanwhile, look what happened to the first day's trading in Snap, owners of Snapchat. It was almost like a return to the big IPOs of internet companies back in 1999. Elsewhere, I'd like to give you some big questions for the rest of the year. First of all, take a look at the yield curve, the gap between 10 and two year yields. Generally, when that gap widens, it means people are more optimistic about growth in the future. Why hasn't it widened when so many other measures are suggesting that, uh, that we are more optimistic? Next, how aggressive is the Fed's going to be? As you can see, there's now almost a one in four chance that they hike four times this year. And finally, what is going to be the effect of a strong dollar on emerging market FX, and particular on Turkey? As you can see, the Turkish lira has now performed even worse than the Mexican peso since the election. And that's the New York Minute.